continuing with sine graph, let's uh, graph <coughs> this equation. Y is equal to uh, minus sine 3x plus 45 plus 3. Okay. So, yeah, let me write the equation again. Y is equal to minus 2 sine of 3x plus 45. So, in this equation or in this function, we have got all the transformation, all the four transformation of a sine graph. So, yeah. So, first let us write the baseline. Okay. So, baseline is the number which is uh, not with the sine function. So, this, uh, suppose if you have y is equal to sine of x, okay, this is your basic sine graph. All sine graph are transformation of this. So this sine of x, it's you can write this is plus zero, and you should be knowing a sine graph starts at zero, which is the baseline. It goes the maximum of one. It's, it's a, it has an amplitude amplitude of one, so it goes one up and one down. So the maximum is one, minimum is negative one. So here, uh, I would like to write the baseline first. So the baseline here is baseline is three. Now the amplitude is the coefficient or the number which is with sine, which is multiplied to sine. So here the amplitude is, we write 2 here, not negative 2. Negative only tells me what happens from the baseline. Okay, so from these two information, we can write the maximum and minimum. So the maximum, it's always good to write the formula. Maximum is baseline plus the amplitude. So, plus amplitude. Okay, now to go to maximum, you're always adding the amplitude to the baseline, which is uh, your baseline is 3 plus 2. So, 3, from 3, you're going to go 2 up to reach the maximum. Your minimum is baseline, your minimum, your minimum is baseline minus amplitude baseline minus amplitude which is very simple which is 3 take away 2 or 3 minus 2 which is 1 okay that decided this is the base baseline and this is the amplitude minus you don't you should not write minus 2 because that will confuse you amplitude is the distance from the baseline to the maximum okay so the distance from the baseline to the maximum or minimum is called uh, the amplitude. So the amplitude, so you can see if you look at maximum, it is 2 above the baseline and your minimum is 2 below your baseline. So let me write minimum properly. So this is minimum is equal to your baseline. Okay, now to find the period, this number decides the period. So this 3 tells me that within 360 your sine curve is going to go three times okay so i'll show that later on so if your sine graph is going to go within 360 three times for going once the period would be 360 divided by three so that's a very simple formula to remember so 360 divided by the coefficient of x which is three is 120 degree okay the next thing that we need to decide is if your pitch, sorry, if your period is 360, at what step or what pitch are you going to go? Now, a circle, as any trig graph or sine or cosine graph, are, or even the trig graph or the tangent graph, is a circular graph. A circle has four quadrants. So let me draw a circle. You may wonder why. So this is a circle. This is the y-axis. And this is the x-axis this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis okay so any circle if you have this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis this has got four quadrants so this is called the first quadrant where both the x-axis and y-axis are positive so this is the second quadrant this is called the third quadrant and this is the fourth quadrant and that's why to find the pitch it is you're dividing by 4. So 3 is 120 divided by 4. 
which is 30 degrees. So we'll be going at a step off or a pitch of 30 degrees. So your p period is 120. I'll, sh I'll draw a graph of, means we'll go up to 360 and then I'll show you that there are three cycles or periods here. Now the final thing that you will decide is your starting point. Where would, is your sign graph going to start? So here, there's one more transformation which is called the phase shift. So your starting point uh, is by letting this whole thing to, here, this plus 45, if there was no 3 here, I can say the sine graph has got, has moved 45 to the left, okay? So if it was, say, let me write that. If it was y is equal to sine of x plus 45, if it was this simple, this tells me your sine graph is going to start at negative 45 because it has gone 45 to the left. Now, yeah, to find the, or if you think, if you set this equal to zero, what would be x? x has to be negative 45. So to find the starting point, what you do is basically, you have to set this equal to, or this whole bracket is equal to zero. So if I set 3x plus 45 is equal to zero, uh, and make x the subject, I hope you understand, 3x has to be negative 45. And so x is equal to negative 15. So we're going to start at negative 15 degrees and go up at a step of 30 degrees. Okay. And you've got a period of 120 degree. So let me draw. Uh, this is your y-axis. This is my x-axis. Okay. So your minimum, what was the minimum? I keep forgetting the minimum and maximum. The minimum was 1, maximum is 5. So let me draw the minimum. Again, not drawn to scale. This is minimum. And say this is this is maximum. And halfway comes somewhere here. Yeah. Okay, so this is your baseline. So this is your baseline. This is your minimum. And, sorry, maximum. This is your minimum. Baseline is always between the, exactly between the maximum and minimum. Maximum is 1, minimum is, sorry, minimum is 1, maximum is 5. And your baseline is 3. Okay, so can you see a relation between 1, 5 and 3? Very simple, 1 plus 5 is 6, divide by 2. And this is in between your maximum and minimum. So I want to go, I want to start at negative 15. So this is again not drawn to scale. So this is negative 15, negative 15. And I want to go at a step off. What's this pitch? Pitch is 30. So this is negative 15. So this is 15. So this is a... Uh, this is 30, this is 45. Okay, let me not confuse you. So from negative 15, you want to go at a step of 30 degree. So this is this is 15 degree, and this is 15 degree. So this is a pitch. So that's why I've drawn 15. Then I will take double this distance. So I think you can understand this. So I'm adding 30, which is 45. And then you add... Uh, 30 which is 75 and then again you add 30 which is 105 I think this is one cycle uh, one two three four yeah, I think this is enough okay so to draw one cycle your sine graph always starts at your baseline okay so your starting point is negative 15 and at negative 15 is where you're starting at the baseline so at negative 15 you're starting at the baseline. Now this negative 2, negative tells me that from max, from baseline, I have not to go to maximum, I have to go to minimum. So this is my minimum. Okay, then, uh, so can you see this is a step of 30 degree. Now the next step is, you're yeah, coming back to your baseline, maximum, 
and this is your baseline. So this is one cycle. Okay, so to find the y-intercept, I will do that later. So let us draw the graph. The graph from, so this is not good, so I will draw like this. So this is going like this. Then you go maximum and your baseline. So this is your y-intercept. So y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So let us do that without the calculator. So when you set x is equal to 0 to find the y-intercept, y would be minus 2, minus 2. Let me use without the calculator. Minus 2 times sine. So if your x is 0, uh, this will become sine 45 uh, plus 3. So this will not be a neat number. I know root 45 is 1 over root 2. So let us use the calculator. So this is minus, oops, when you run, I have to look up my setup. My setup goes to radian by default. So it is minus 2 sine bracket 45. I put this in bracket plus 3, okay, which is 1.58, or I'll say 1.59. So this point, we'll confirm that on the calculator. This point is 1.59. Your y-intercept is 1.59. Okay, so let us graph this on the calculator. So your equation is, menu, go to graph, uh, minus 2 sine uh, 3x plus 45 plus 3. So I need to change the scale. Shift V window. I want a trig scale from say minus 15 to 105 in a step of 30 degree. Okay, or scale of 30 and I want to go from 0 to the maximum was. This is 5 so I'll go up to 7. Okay scale of 1 and draw it. Here we go. So this is your graph. Okay. So we want to find, so this is your, so this is, let us find the y-intercept first. So the y-intercept is 1.58. G-sol, what's the maximum? Maximum is 5 at 75. Okay. And what's the minimum? Minimum is 1 at 15. So you go G-sol and minimum. Okay. Now if you want to go, so this is, if you if you go up to 360, so just to show you, if you go from minus 15 to say 360, okay, and then draw it, you can see three cycles or more than three cycles. So this is a quarter cycle. So this is one cycle, this is the second cycle, and this is the third cycle. So within 360, there are three cycles. So this is your one cycle, this is your second, uh, you start from here, so you start and you uh, finish here. So this is your first cycle, then this is your second cycle, and this is your third cycle. So more than three cycles are there in this graph. 